Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 74, and welcome to the kickoff of season three. Now, let me give you guys a spoiler. Yes, I lost in this game. Maybe one of the worst games of all time here in Madden Ultimate Team. Um, I've, I don't think I've lost 30 to zero since like a long time ago. Like maybe since uh, Madden 2011 or 2012, when I lost like 43 to 17 against uh, uh, Joe Gibbs. But um. Like, yes, you know, I, I, I like to give spoilers every time I lose. I mean, it's just really pisses me out because I could have done better. I believe that uh, maybe I could have called different plays and uh, maybe scored in some certain moments, but it didn't happen. So I do admit, you know, this one was really uh, a loss for me. Like, okay, I came from a, a, a non-losing season to a losing starter. Like, start, a start of a season, so... Uh, it's just a wake-up call, I believe. It's just really a wake-up call of who to expect later on in later seasons also because, you know, season four is when the top, you know, you're already like in the top five thousands if you're already like in season four of uh, Ultimate Team. And, um, you know, going up there, you know, you're going to meet guys like this, you know, people calling in strange defensive plays. Now, what was happening in offense, guys, is that I couldn't produce at all. I just couldn't. I believe I should have signed Vincent Jackson before this game. I believe because... This guy was pressing on defense, this guy was blitzing, and uh, and I was like, alright, if I would have Vincent Jackson, this guy would have never be, uh, you know, pressed down. If you guys don't know what pressed is on defense, it's when the cornerback is like right in front of the wide receiver, and, you know, he jams the receiver so he won't go full speed out. And uh, I believe if, if I would have Vincent Jackson in this game, maybe I could have produced maybe more than I would have. But uh, Eric Decker, Cardo Patterson, and T.Y. Hilton couldn't do anything. They just couldn't. And you'll see that, that later on in my next possession. Maybe in two possessions that uh, you know my receivers were dropping the ball. My, my freaking screen didn't work. Just a bunch of shit happened in the office. That was just terrible, man. As you can see, a drop by the screen right there. I mean, I could have taken it all the way right there because he was blitzing. Cardo Patterson open right there and a drop. And I'm like, I'm like what the fuck? I mean, if, if there's something else. If another bullshit happens right now. I'm going to lose this game, and Ryan Tannehill overthrows it. I'm like, yeah, there's no way I'm going to win this game. Yeah, I gave up at this point. I was like, there's just no way. There's just no way. Ryan Tannehill's overthrowing like this, and my receivers are not catching the ball. There's no way you can uh, produce an offense at all. And it happens in head-to-head -head also. Like, I have this experience because I've done it before, and it happened to me before in head-to-head -head, uh, where my receivers keep on dropping the ball. If they do that, you can't win the game. You just can't. EA just wants you to lose. Well, this one wasn't EA. I believe this guy had like man coverage defense and um, skill and run stuff defense that I just couldn't do anything. Like, he's just overpowered in defense. I couldn't do shit. Look at this. Another, like, nobody was open. I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to throw an interception. All of those touchdowns happened in the fourth quarter, by the way. Look at the quarters. Fourth quarter. I think the game should have ended 9 0 or 15 0, but. I just kept on throwing interceptions because I don't give a fuck. I was like, fuck this shit. I can't do anything. Uh, might as well, like, try again somehow. There was just nothing happening. No pro no producing, no nothing. Um, I believe I can do better next time. Maybe call in better plays. I mean, right there, I was, going, I was getting my mojo on. You know, Eric, Eric Decker and T.O.A. Hilton were finally getting open. But it's kind of late already so with 1 minute and 25 to go. But, yeah, you know, I'm going to look this game and reflect on myself. Like, say, like... Maybe you should have be so confident next time. Maybe call in more to spread out, more spread offense plays. Uh, have more gun plays out there that could have beat the press. I actually have like a, I think it's called gun. Um, I don't know, but it has three receivers on it. But I know it has some certain route that it didn't allow, you know, defenders to be uh, to be pressing on the receivers, which is pretty good. But I never called it. I should have called it a long time ago. So. Um, so yeah, that's all guys. Like it was just a big major blow up of a shitty game. Look at this. 23-0. No producing. No nothing. I know a lot of y'all will say, like, whoa, you're a shitty player. Well, we all have those moments, guys. We all do. I mean nobody's perfect. Nobody can win all of them. But yeah, the streak ended today. My 13-0 streak. Um I mean, season two was so, to, totally different, but I know what to expect in season three. You know, more players, with more uh, strategies going on there. I mean, that's the reason why they got here to season three. Um, I'm, I mean, I've made it here with all gold players. <laughs> I don't have elite players either, except for Halorinata and the Rising Stars. 
Well, that's it for now, guys. You know, I promise you guys I'll win the next games because this is just horrendous. This was just a goddamn, you know, I don't even want to look back at this game, but I need to reflect on it because, you know, we need to be ready for these kinds of players, and I want you guys to be ready too. So I'll be trying to, you know, develop some certain plays here and there to avoid these kinds of losses. So that's it for now, guys. Subscribe for more Madden 15 Ultimate.